I can't hear you, Sensei. I can see you, but not hear you. No, oh, that's no. good. Can you hear me now? Perfect. I had it on mute. Okay, cool. So um, just stretch out a little bit, just like normal. Um, we'll get started in a few more minutes. We'll wait for anybody else to join. Um, I think we just usually have Nate who's missing. Um, got a few things that I want to work on, but if there's anything specific that you would like to go over, let me know when we get started with class and we can do that. Sensei, I'm going to leave about 15 minutes early for an appointment. Okay, that's, yeah, not a problem, not a problem at all. Um, you can just, uh, when you're ready to go, just bow and you can log off, um, not, a, not an issue. All right, cool. Um, looks like we got Brian. Haven't seen you in a little while, but thanks for joining. Um, is there anything that anybody specifically would like to work on? Um, there's a couple Kihon techniques that I want to do. We're going to do um, Oizuki, Yakazuki, and Yakazuki, Yakazuki. But is there anything else, any Kihon techniques specifically that you'd like to work on? And then we'll do Kata for the second. Kicking because I suck at it. <laughs> okay, no problem. Any specific kicks, Becky? Uh, the stationary and like the five kicks in a row, whatever that is. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Not a problem. Whatever, whatever kicks. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Anybody else? Brian, Beatrice, Anne? No? Good. Okay, awesome. Um, so we'll just start with quick warm up. So jumping jacks. Good for back. You may arm circle sports and back. Cross your body. Legs apart wide, stretching forwards. All right, so try to, as you lean forwards, don't curl, right? Try to lean from your hips. You may not be able to go as far. That's totally okay. We want to get that nice stretch. If you're bending, we're not stretching. And up, push the hips forward. We're stretching the front part of the hips. You feel a nice, good stretch, especially if you're like me. You sit all day in front of the computer. This should feel really good. Um, I like to rotate. I'll turn frontwards, upper body. That helps kind of massage the front part. Good. And then arm across. And switch. Arm over. And I just want to reiterate, since Sean's been talking about this too with the stretch, we see a lot when we do this, so notice how my upper body is kind of curved here. Try to keep your upper body straight. As you turn, you should feel my stretch down the side of your body. And switch. 
Do that switch down to the ankle and switch and down to the ankle. And half hurdles. Switch. Sankusadachi. Try to get front feet or both feet pointed in the same direction. Hips square to your target. Right, just stretching the front part of the hip, the ankles pushing everything out so you can get a nice stretch there. Try to curl the hips under, right? This is where we can engage the lower abs a little bit. Make sure everything is positioned properly. Good. Switch to the other side. Same thing, try to get the ankle positioned properly first and then curl the hips under, stretching the front of the hip. Good, and feet together, stretching forwards. And up, pushing the hips forwards. Good, and then squatting down. So remember, as you come up, right, try to lift with the hips. Try to keep your head in the same position. That way you can stretch all the way down for those nice hamstring stretch. And down. And up. Good. Leg raises forwards. Cross your body. To the side. And to the rear. Circle your hips, switch, exercises forward and back, shake your head like you're saying no, ear to shoulder, circle your head, and switch, good, and left hand out. Just warming up arms, hips, shoulders. So just straight punch, nice and easy. No kime, no speed. Just warming up, ready. Chokazuki, itch, knee, sum, shi, go, broke, sitch, hach, ku, ju. Agyuki, rising block, itch, knee, sum, shi, go, Broke, sitch, hach, ku, ju. Soto uki, stomach block, itch, ni, sum, shi, go, broke, sitch, hach, ku, ju. Uchiyuki, inside out block, itch, ni, sum, shi, Go, broke, sitch, hach, ku, ju. Kidamurai, down block, itch, ni, sum, shi, go, broke, sitch, hach, ku, ju. Good, and feet together. Kicks, we'll just do. All the kicks, alternate legs, starting with front snap kick, my Gary, just kicking, you know, gait on, shoot on level, right, just to warm up the legs and the hips. No kime, no speed, just warming up, ready, itch, knee, sum, she, go, broke, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Yoko Gary, itch, knee, Sum, she, go, broke, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Good, and T stance, 
Mwashigeri, five on one side, five on the other. It's the San, she, go, switch legs. Other side, itch, ni, sam, shi, go. And Ushiro Gary just kicking straight back. Ready, itch, ni, sam, shi, go, ru, sitch, ach, ku, ju. And you may. And now today, okay, grab a quick drink of water and then we'll jump into the kihon. All right. Uh, let me tilt my screen. Let's see you guys a little bit better. Okay. Good. Come on. So we're going to start with Oizuki half step Yakazuki. So just going slow. This one tends to give people a little bit of trouble because it's kind of awkward. It's not one that we usually do, right? We should do like Yakazuki, Oizuki, right? But this one feels kind of different because you're doing an Oizuki. But then you're coming back for a yakuzuki, so it, it feels kind of slightly awkward. So we're gonna break it down. Make sure you guys get the right foot movement, and the right hand motions, and then we'll speed it up. So they come a little bit closer just to start. So uh, we'll break it down by the counts. We're gonna step forward, it's oizuki. Boom. And this is gonna be kind of shodan-ish level. Now from here, you get it, work on the half step like we were doing before, right? So feet are gonna come under your body. Hands gonna come into Kamai hands. And as you step out, then you're gonna punch. Boom, Yakazuki. Back heel can come up. I actually would suggest this. Makes it a little bit easier to get everything in, right? So sliding back, um, left leg forward again. So just keep with the same leg just to keep the feeling correct, right? So step four is Oizuki, boom. Half step, Kamai hands, Yakazuki, Kamai. Good, and slide back, left leg forward again, keeping just the same leg, unless you had your right leg forward, just keep the same leg forward a couple more times. Uh, Oizuki, half step, Yakazuki, Kamai. And last one, ready, Oizuki, boom, half step, Yakazuki, Kamai. Good, slide back. We'll do the other leg nice and slow. So if you had your left leg forward, switch to your right. If you had your right, switch to your left. Okay, so one more time. Oizuki, itch, half step, remember, half step underneath, at most up to the front foot. Step forward, Yakazuki. Come on, slide back. Back to your leg, your right leg forwards. Coming forwards, Oizuki. Half step, come on, hands. Yakazuki. Come on. And one more time, slide back, right leg forward. Oizuki. Half step, Yakazuki. Come on. And slide back. All right. Now we're just going for the flow, right? So we're going to put it all together. Try not to give too much kimei here, right? So we're just going to go oizuki half step, yakazuki, right? So before we do that, just make sure your feet are moving correctly. You can forget the hands. I just want you guys to do the oizuki half step, yakazuki, right? Just try that a couple times on your own, right, so just Oizuki half step, Yakazuki, right? Oizuki half step, Yakazuki. Oizuki half step, Yakazuki. 
Yeah, so you have step. Yeah, because you're right. Make sure you get the, the leg feeling right. If, if your feet aren't moving correctly, it's hard to get your hands to move correctly. Right? Things get out of sync. Feels awkward. All right. Couple on each side. Nice, smooth tempo. Ready? Oizuki half step, Yakuzuki. Itch. Oizuki half step, Yakuzuki. Good. Slide back. So we'll be alternating legs here. Ready? Eight. Oizuki half step, Yakuzuki. Good. Slide back. Some. Oizuki half step, Yakuzuki. Good. Slide back. Then I'm going to watch you guys. And last one, sheet, oizuki, half step, yakuzuki. Good, that looks good, 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 good. All right. Now at the kume. This is the hard part, because oizuki is a strong punch, right? So, boom, oizuki, but you don't want to, one, two, right? This is where you have your light kume in there, right? So you're going to be, this way, right? So the feeling is, kime. As soon as you get that full kime, boom, you're moving for that second punch, right? So it's not one, two, three. It's one, two, three, right? Everybody understand the slight difference in tempo there? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, good. Okay, let's give it a shot. If you need to go slower, go slower, but try to add the, the right feeling. Ready? Itch. Good. Slide back. Me. Good. Slide back. Some. Good. Slide back. And last one I'm going to watch. Sheep. Good, 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 good. And you may. And now it's a good. Questions? Oizuki has to yes. Beatrice. Yeah, hi, Sensei. Uh, the Oizuki, do you extend it or is it straight? Same for the Yakuzuki. Are you extending or is it straight? Yeah, good question. Good question. So, for Oizuki, let me come a little bit closer to the camera. So everyone knows Senkusadachi, boom, or yeah, 74 Oizuki, right? Basic, boom, I'm here. Hip square, shoulder square, punching this way, right? If you do that in Kihon, it's not gonna work. And the reason for that is, if I slide back, as I step forwards, Boom, hip square, shoulder square. Where is my fist in relation to my leg? It's here, right? So what's gonna happen, it's in the same line, right? So if I step forwards, boom, this way, I'm gonna hit them with my leg first, right? So you've got to, for the kihon and for sparring, for kumite, as you step forward for oizuki, see I'm a little bit more open, Open, this is okay, right? This is normal for, for advanced techniques, right? So you can be, as I step forwards, boom, here. So now you can see my fist is further than my leg, right? Now I'm hitting the person with my fist first as opposed to my leg. So for this one, you're gonna be, boom, a little bit more open, right? And as you step forwards, Yakazuki, boom, definitely square if you can. It's okay to go a little bit further. Let me get a little more in frame. But what you want to be careful of is the further you go, the more your hip turns this way, the more my chest closes, right? Now my energy, because your energy goes with your hips, is going this way, right? And the other issue, if I can get in frame, Boom. You can see my back foot is now twisting this way as opposed to pushing this way. It's pivoting. Maybe if I turn 
right? As opposed to this way, it's doing this. Now I'm putting torque on my knee, right? Which can be dangerous. So be careful how much you close, right? But you definitely don't want to be open, right? Because now I've lost connection. It's got to be at least square. Definitely you want at most square if you can. You can be a little bit more open or closed, I guess. That's, that's okay, but don't, don't make it excessive, right? Is, it, is that good, Beatrice? Yeah. Other questions? Not technique? No? Okay, so for my EQs, actually for all of you, since you're all gonna be EQs soon if you're not, um, the hard thing for these boys and EQ techniques, and we, I mentioned this when we started, is to not do one, two, three, right? You have to time the key A with the movement. So it's key may move, right? As soon as that key may makes connection, right? The rest of the technique starts moving, right? So it's not one, two, three, it's one, two, three, right? Key may move, right? Makes sense? It, it's a hard thing. You have to kind of go a little bit slow to get the feeling, but you definitely don't want to have them split, right? It's not two techniques. It's not one, two, three. It's one, two, three, right? Good? Okay. Making sure. Okay. Yeah, this one's good. Okay. Yakazuki, Yakazuki. All right. So, Yakazuki, Yakazuki, so we're gonna be here. Front leg's gonna step forwards, boom, Yakazuki. Pushing forwards, feet come together. As I'm stepping, Yakazuki again, and then Kamani, right? Okay, so the feeling for this, very similar feeling. A couple seconds before this one on your exam, you've got Oi Yakazuki, lunging reverse punch, right? So if you watch my feet for Yakazuki, Yakazuki, right? Stepping forwards, stepping forwards, recover, right? Oi Yakazuki, lunging, reverse punch. Well, it's almost identical, right? The same kind of foot motion, same kind of feeling, right? I'm not one, two, I'm driving one, boom, driving two, right? So it's moving forwards. All right, so let's go slow to get the feeling right. So we're here, step, step out, Yakazuki, good. Feet come together. Out, boom, Yakazuki, recover. Good, coming forwards, or side back if you need. Step out, Yakazuki, feet come to in, out, Yakazuki, recover. Good, slide back, just a couple more. Ready, Yakazuki, in and out. Yakazuki, recover. Good. Yakazuki, in and out. Yakazuki, good. Recover. All right. So, the big major thing we see, the big mistake, is this. See how my feet aren't coming in and out. Waddling down the floor, right? So, my secret for this is back heel coming up, driving your back hip into the punch. As I do this, so if I just release the arms, if I've got this back hip driven in, as I step up, 
your foot has to come up to your front foot. Your body doesn't work any other way, right? Because this, this hip is turned at least square, if not a little bit more. It automatically makes your back foot come to your front foot. And then because it's there, you can then drive, boom, outwards, right? So really try to drive that back hip in because that more it's in, the easier it is to step in and out in the correct fashion. Yeah? Okay. Let's go a little bit faster, more smooth, no key may. Right, so we're just looking for one, two, recover. Ready? Itch. Yakuzuki, Yakuzuki, recover. Good. Knee. Yakuzuki, Yakuzuki, recover. Good, slide back. Good. Couple more. Sump. Yakuzuki, Yakuzuki, recover. Good, slide back knee two. And last one. Yakuzuki, Yakuzuki, recover. Good. And slide back. Good. And let's just do one more so I can watch. And go, Yakuzuki, Yakuzuki. Good. Okay. Um, only comment that I have, make sure um, you all look in the mirror. It's hard to tell because we have different camera angles. Um, depending on where you're aiming, right? It should be shoot on, shoot on, right? I know from this camera angle, it looks kind of awkward. Some of, hard to tell. Just make sure that you're in the right zone, that it's not too high and not too low, right? Oops. Yeah, yeah, good, Becky, perfect. Yeah, right there. Oops. Should be just slight, slight down feeling, right? So it's not straight, it's just slightly down, right? Good, yeah. Okay, now full Kime. Um, what I want you guys to have the feeling for on this one, think Oi Yakuzuki, right? As you're boom, driving inwards, that's the feeling I want for the Yakuzuki Yakuzuki. So that way you can go Yakuzuki Yakuzuki, right? It's driving inwards. You're blowing through your point. Yeah, Becky, that looks good. Ready? Itch. Good. Slide back to you two. Nate. Good, slide back. Two more. Some. Good, and last one. Let me watch. Sheep. Good, and you may. And now say. Okay, only comment for that last one that I saw. Let me turn this way. Front foot is not up and down, it's forwards, right? You gotta step out, right? If I just step here, I'm not going anywhere. I know it's hard, you guys may be adjusting for the space you have. If you are, go slow later and really practice that motion of boom outwards, right? That front foot's gotta move. And this is for all the techniques, right? Anything where we're moving forwards, that front foot has to move forwards, right? It's gotta come out. Think of one of the sensei sticking their foot right in front of yours. So if this is my front foot here, if they stick their front foot here, right? You have to step over their front foot, right? at least that far. So at least, you know, six, eight inches. Good. Questions, Yakuzuki, Yakuzuki? No, good. Okay. Um, one more comment. As you step forwards, just pay attention that your front foot, as you step, doesn't do this. Right, see how my foot flare open, right? 
it's got to stay at least straight ahead, right? It's not flaring open. Actually, I can't even do that. I'm going to fall if I do it, right? So you want proper foot position, right? This way. Good. Okay. All right. Grab a drink of water. We'll do some kicks. Okay, since Becky wanted five kick combo, we'll do five kick combo. Um, so you can do whatever you want for your exam, right? Five kick combo can be any kicking combination you want. There's no standard one. Um, for the punches, we usually recommend the Kazamazuki, Oizuki, half step, Yakazuki, Oizuki, half step, Yakazuki. The reason for that is that that one is on the need on exam, right? So you have to learn it anyways. It's a good one to do. For the kicking, there is no standard one. On the need on exam, it's any punch kick combination. So things get mixed together. So there isn't like a standard one. I can show you the one that I do um, or a variation of it, right? So I like to kind of go through all the kicks. So one that I like to do is front snap, Roundhouse, spinning back kick, front snap kick, Toby carry, right? I like the jumps, so I always throw that in there. If you don't want to do the jump, you can start the same way, right? Front snap, roundhouse, spinning back kick, front snap kick, side thrust kick, right? That way you get through all the kicks, you end with a thrust kick. The last kick has to be a power kick. Jumping kick, thrust kick, spinning kick. It's gotta be something strong. Don't end with a front snap kick or a side snap, right? Make sure it's a good, powerful kick. So let's run through this. Um, we'll do the, the second one with the side thrust kick. Um, so the reason I like this kick combo is you flow pretty well, right? So front snap kick, my hips open so I can turn back, watch it, I'm already pivoting, boom, side, or spinning back kick, stuff's pivoting again, I can just kick, front snap, and then finish with a nice, boom, thrust kick. Right, so your hips kind of flow fairly nicely through this. Let's go so slowly through it. Good. Alter as you need if you play on your space. Just gonna do front snap kick, step down, we'll watch the getting, boom, step down, make sure you pivot, boom, spinning back kick, step down, pivot all the way around, front snap kick, and then boom, side thrust kick. All right, good. Slide back. Uh, we switched legs at the end there, so try the other side, depending on your five kick combo. Um, it's only one up and one back. If you turn around, you've got the other leg forward, right? You gotta know how to do it the opposite direction. So let's try with the opposite leg. Ready? Front snap. Watch the getty. Sure, getty. My getting side thrust. Good. And slide back. All right. So the other key with this, and this is for any kicking combination, as you kick, do not step, let me come a little bit closer, straight down, right? Not only do you not get distance, but if you're here, my center of gravity is not stable, right? So kick, step out. Now I'm stable, right? Now I can do 
whatever kick I need. So make sure you step out into your stance, especially for the spinning ones, right? So if I do a washigeti and I step down for spinning back kick, so I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. And if I step straight down, you can see I'm already leaning over to compensate for stability. If I kick, step here, posture is correct, my balance is good, I'm stable. Now I can just boom, kick the leg, right? So make sure you step out. All right, so let's try it again. A little bit faster, a little bit more smoothly, ready? Front snap, we'll watch the giddy, we'll show giddy, my giddy, side thrust. Good, slide back, try the other leg. And my giddy, watch the giddy, my giddy, side first. Good, slide back. All right, a little bit quicker. I'm gonna watch you guys. And on your own, all five, ready, shimmy. Good, slide back. And last one, other leg. Ready, Jamaica. Good. Yeah, it looks good. Oops. And you may. And now today. All right. So, a few comments actually. And that looked pretty good from the camera angle. Um, Beatrice, just a little bit higher with the knee as you wind up, right? Um, that will help get the kick just slightly higher, right? Becky, kicks were good. Um, watch pre-pivoting of your front foot, right? So as you're kicking, you're doing this and then kicking, right? Make sure that front foot stays there, boom, and then you kick, right? And then when you pivot from washigiri, that's okay, but don't, don't pre-pivot, right? That'll help the kicks, yeah, yeah. Brian looked good. Um, a little bit more flow, right? This is for, actually, so I didn't get to give you comments because we went over uh, pre-showdown comments. Um, the last two weeks. Um, so your pre on looked really good, Brian. The only really big thing is tempo for you, right? So it, this is what I've been talking with you about for a while, right? Just a little bit more flow, right? You got the kime, you got the technique. Get a little bit more flow with your technique. And then for the Hendersons, it looked good. Just a little bit more kime with each technique. Yeah, good. All right, questions on that? Becky, questions on the kick? Was that a good one for you? Good, okay. Everyone like that kick? You can do whatever you want, um, that's a good one. And actually, yeah, we're gonna do stationary kicks at the end. You guys are good and tired. Um, what you'll see me do often in class, um, if there's space and time, is I actually do this kind of thing before class starts. So you'll often see me kind of just walking down the floor Boom, this way, right? Front snap, wash a getty, right? I'll do those three kicks just walking down the floor. So you'll see me before class just doing boom, front snap, wash a getty, right? It's a good warm up for your hips. Go slowly so you don't hurt anything for the legs, right? Gets everything flowing, right? Because you're turning, moving, right? It's also why I like that one. You can do it before class as a good warm up. Almost good. All right, grab a quick drink of water. We'll do some kata. All right, uh, specific katas. 
that you'd like to work on? No, not everybody speak up all at once. Okay. Uh, techie need on? Okay, we'll do techie need on. Um, a second one, if we get to it, or just techie need on good? Okay, good. All right, techie need on. Good, Eloy. Oh, quick comment. So we've been, we've done techie need on a couple times. Um, I wanted to give you an update. I think Sensei Neil covered the proper head movements. This changed from what I was teaching you guys a couple weeks ago. Um, you all did it correctly on your pre on exam, but you may see some senseis teaching the older way. That's what I was doing. Uh, I just want to make sure that it's clear on that. So, for instance, you're looking to the right at the beginning, and I was teaching you guys as we come here that you're looking forwards and then to the right. It's just going to stay to the right, right? So you can look to the right, boom, still to the right, right? So you all did this correctly on your pre-shodan. Just wanted to mention that if you see variances in the head motion, right? Some of us are doing the older way. You'll see this way online. JKA follows this direction of head motion. So just be aware that there's some variances there. But what you all did for your pre-shodan was the correct way, right? So just mentioning that. Yeah, you like taking it on. Good. So remember, first move is with the thumbs here, right, into the chest. You're breaking someone's grip on you, right? So you're going to step across, itch. You're going to block in front of your face, knee, come across, boom, some. So techie punch, this hand is out, 45, this direction, right? Good. You're gonna step across, block in front. Itch. You're gonna step out, block, knee. If I step back, am I getting more afraid? And you're gonna step up, looking to the left. This is with the thumbs. Boom. Now remember, don't go too close here. Right? We're not getting close here. It's a proper distance, right? Good. So we're looking to the left. You're going to block in front, still looking to the left, and block. And you're going to step across, block in front, block to the side. Am I still in frame? Good. Now from here, I'm going to come a little closer. This is the hand motion, right? So my right hand is open at the moment. My right hand's going to close as it comes back. My left hand is going to open. Boom, this way. Ready? Itch. And now you're gonna block. So left hand's gonna stay open the whole time. Block knee. Now it's gonna come back to my hip, still open, as my right leg comes up, boom, this way. And then it's gonna empty strike around as your hand comes this way. Boom. Okay, so you're here, boom. Okay, now you're gonna wind up, come out, block. This is grasping block. Good. Techie punch. Now you're gonna step across. I'm gonna slide back so I can stay in frame. Step across, block just like techie. PI move. All right, I'm gonna slide forward again so I can, you can see. So now, I'm going to come back. I'm going to open my right hand. One. Right hand's going to stay open. Two. It's going to come back to my left hip. Left leg's going to come up. Three. Same thing here. Blocking into the palm. I'm going to wind up. I'm going to cross grasping block. I'm going to slide back to stay in frame. Techie punch. Step across. Block, techie move, PI. Anyway, and now today. Good. 
questions, taking it on, Anne? No? My pre show runs? Hopefully not. Henderson's? No? Good? Okay. One more time. Good. Eli. Taking it on? Stepping across each block me. Step across some sheet. Come up, go, looking to the left. Block each me. Step across some sheet. To the left hip, itch. To the right knee. Block some, strike sheet. Wind up. Grasping block, taking punch go. Step across. Taking move ki. Right hand opens, coming back to the right hip. To the left. Block, strike, wind up. Coming across, grasp. Taking punch. Step across. Strike. Teki Mukiai, and you may. And now it's a good. Questions? I'm leaving. Thank you, Sensei. Oh, so thanks, Anne. Good. Questions from Henderson's or my pre show runs? No? Good. Uh, what time is it? Perfect. Time for one more kata. Which kata do you guys want to work on for your pre-show on? Your next pre-show on. Don't feel afraid to speak up. Let's say maybe uh, maybe Jion. Jion. Oh, perfect. All right. Let's do Jion. All right, Eoi, it's Jihong. So Jihon, big man kata, make sure that your chest is nice and big, right, as you do this, all the moves, right? Don't, a lot of times we kind of curl a little bit as we're doing techniques as you're engaging the core, right? We need to be big, right? Thinking, this is Senpai Ron, Sensei Mark Krohn, Sensei Mustafa, right? This is who you're trying to be as you're doing this kata. Big guy kata, big woman kata, right? So we're right here, first move. Don't stick out, right? You're gonna come down, boom, step back, and strike. Ready, itch. And you're gonna go diagonally. So you're gonna look, boom, breaking with the hips turning. Good. Now you're gonna kick. Normally we do quicker triple punches. I want you guys to slow this down. So watch carefully. So I'm here. Don't do one, two, three, four, right? So you're gonna do boom. Right? See the power difference? Slow down the punches there, ready? So you're gonna kick, triple punch, itch, knee, some she. Good, much better. Now you're gonna look to the right, break, uh, with the breathing. Now you're gonna kick, triple punch, same thing. Try to slow it down a little bit. Itch, knee, some she. Now go quick. Itch, knee, rising block, reverse punch. Some she. Now slow it down. Rising block, itch. Step four, kime, kiai. Good. And you're gonna turn around. Boom, double block. So I'm gonna turn this way. Boom, double block, itch. Reach out in front. Grab. Strike, knee. Double block, sunk. Reach out, grab, chi. Down block, go. As you step forward, 
Try to keep that back hip back for as long as possible. So don't turn, step, and then boom, strike, right? Breaking someone's ribs. Ready, itch, knee, sump. I'm gonna turn around again. You gonna turn, boom, double block, itch. You're gonna wind up to the side, come up all the way, knee. Make sure you wind up, double block, sump. Wind up low to high, sheep. Break, go. Take a breath for a minute. Now, you're gonna drive forward. Easy, Gary. Step, post a dot sheep, break, or block. Break. Itch, knee, sump. Good. Step forwards, pushing with the hips so you don't do this, right? Push the hips forward so it's nice and big. Block, so good. Step forwards, blocking above your head. Sheep should have your right hand in front. Good, so now you're gonna block one, strike two, strike three. And now you're gonna turn around, inside out block, and itch. Oizuki, Nate. Inside out block, the other direction, sump. Inside out block, she. And then you're gonna down block, go. Now from here, you're gonna reach up. Your blocking hand is gonna grab in front here. Let me come a little bit closer. All right, so I'm here. I'm grabbing their arm. Right? Coming up. As I come down, I'm pulling, right? Holding on, breaking their arm, right? This way. So, if you think about it in terms of a grasp, this is the key here where the rotation comes into play, right? So, you guys can take a, a rest for a second as I explain this. If someone's grabbing you, right? and you grab them and then come down, right? My arm is this way right now, right? As, as I've grabbed my opponent before they're gonna try and break my arm, right? If you come down this way, right? My arm bends this way. It's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna do any huge damage. So if I'm here and I grab, as I pull, right, you're twisting their arm, depending on which way it's turning, to get it this way, right? That way when you come down, as you pull up on the wrist, come down on the elbow, it snaps the elbow the wrong direction, right? Oops. So we're here. It, you're gonna grab, come up, boom, break. Now you're gonna grab again. Let's say they happen to be Superman and didn't break, you're gonna do it again. Boom, break it again. If that still didn't work, grab it one more time. Boom, breaking it the last time. Good, so now we're here. You're gonna turn. Grabbing the punch coming this way. Step out. Come over, grab again. Medium speed, medium length PI. Shape. And you may. And now say. Questions, Jihong? Yes, Beatrice? Um, that, I think they, that move you were just showing, the grabbing, can you show me how to, when, when you bring your knee up and your arm, are you facing forward or are you already facing this way? 
Yeah, good question. Okay. Let's see if I can do it now without thinking. I'm kind of 45. I guess maybe a little bit, yeah. Not exactly fours. I guess mostly fours. Boom. 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 Yeah, I'm mostly fours. That way I can get that nice as I'm coming down torque into it. Yeah. The other question that we get with this, and I've asked this before, so unless things have changed, um, is it fist or is it hand as you come up this way? And the answer is, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want. Whatever gives you the power to come down. If you watch me carefully in the kata, I think I do open, closed. I think is what my body naturally does. So whatever you want to do, hands open or hands closed, doesn't matter. Whatever is easiest for you. Any other questions on that? No? What time is it? Perfect. Okay. So the only other big thing, just like at the beginning, right? We came here. We went a little bit slower, right? Boom. One, two, three. Make sure you kind of follow that pattern throughout the kata, right? Turn around. Boom. Pause. Boom. 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 Right? Make sure you get that power for that kata, right? Big person katsu, big man, big woman katsu, right? This is all power. Good. Okay. Last thing we'll do, stationary kicks, just for the fun of it. Good. Eoi. Left leg forward, down block. Come on, take. Mm, hands up. And this will always be from your basic stance on the exam. Front snap, side snap, roundhouse, back kick. Um, let's do five sets. And punch me. And whenever you're done, you come back to your May. And right leg forward down block my take. Good. And five sets on your own. Jamaica. And you may. And now it's ready. Question of stationary kicks? You think I can help with that? I can say for me, the hardest part is transitioning from the roundhouse kick to the back kick because your feet have to pivot. Yeah, so. Boom. Boom. So, as you kick, side snap, roundhouse, try to pivot back, right? Boom, this way, as you come back. If you stay this way, right now I gotta pivot, but if you kick, boom, and come back, it's not to be fast pivot, right? 
just boom, come back. Now I can kick a little bit easier. So just watch the way that you're pivoting, right? That should help a little bit. The big key for this is keeping your knee up, right? The more this drops, you have to do this. Not only is it hard, but it affects your balance. So yeah, just like Brian was doing, just at home, just practice front snap, side snap, roundhouse, back kick. You don't even have to kick, just practice stability. Boom. This way. Yeah. And engage the core, grip the floor, but be careful as you grip that you don't disallow the foot movement for the kicks, right? So grip, grip, got to release so I can pivot, kick, release, grip, thrust, right? So if you don't release, you're going to damage your knee, right? Good. Okay. And then real quick, just stretching legs apart, stretching forwards. Just let the body hang. You can get your elbows to the ground. If you can get your head to the ground, I can't. Some people can. Just letting the body hang and be loose. Walk it over to the left. Same thing, just nice and loose, but just trying to get the stretch to the left. Move it over to the right. Good. And from there, center splits. To the left. To the right. Back to center. Walk the hands forwards, push the hips down. Walk the hands back, back and through, back on your heels. And then staying up on your heels, walking back to center and pushing down into your heels. Good, and feet together. Stretching forwards and up, pushing the hips forwards, rocking back and forth, stretch out that hip flexor. Good. Grab the leg, quad stretch. Try to, let's see if I can get this in camera, try to push your hip forward so we're not this way stretching, it's this way stretching, right? So that way you get the whole front of the quad and that hip flexor. Switch sides, same thing, right? Try to push that hip forwards. If that means your leg has to come out this way because it's not as flexible, that's totally fine. But you wanna push that hip forwards. Good, and last one, right in front. Stretching down. I like to kind of press a little bit. I don't know if that's correct. I like to kind of press a little bit on this leg just to get that nice stretch in there. Remember, you don't want to feel any pain. Stretch is good. If you feel pain, release out and switch to the other side. Ooh, like this one for me, I have a little bit of pain up through here. So I'm going to go a little bit higher. Maybe not press as much. Good. And you may. And feet together and you bounce. Thank you for training, guys. We'll see you next week. Um, don't forget, 6 o'clock tonight with Sensei Adam. Um, I'll be on the call for 
few more minutes longer if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, have a good weekend. Thanks for training. Oh, sorry. Hey. Oh, thanks, Sensei. Oh, sorry. Thanks, Sensei. Awesome.